what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for hey everyone, what you've Matt here. So, I wanted to show you something new that I'm doing, and I hinted about it in some of my previous videos. Um, but uh, I want to add some Dutch buckets to my aquaponics system. And so I want to show you, this will probably be like a three-part video, um, or a three-parter, you know, part one, part two, part three. <laughs> so um, I want to show you kind of what I'm doing, like how plumbing-wise, how I'm going to be setting up the buckets, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So today, I want to focus in on drainage to my sump tank. All right, so let's get to it. Yes, yes, I know. It looks like it's set up already, but it's really not. Okay, so I just want to kind of show you the front of this. None of these are plumbed yet, so um, I just wanted to show you the uh, what I did here. And everybody's going to be different. I mean, you can do this at different levels for yourself, um, but the, I am going to point out some important things about this. Uh, number one, as you can see, I got blocks here. And these are from uh, this big piece of wood here. It's 12 feet long and it's from my old grow beds that I had um, in my garden. Um, so I took it, it's kind of rotted on the bottom, but it, it'll hold a lot of weight still. So I'm, I'm basically repurposing it. And so you wanna set up something to where you're always gonna have your buckets higher than your sump tank. Um, and I'll show you the reason why I have them this high. I would prefer them a little lower, but I already had a hole cut in my sump tank. So I wanted to show you that along with the uh, how easy the plumbing was actually for the drainage. Okay, now obviously my sump tank is in the ground over here and I'm sorry about the glare, but you can see it there. That tank actually runs all of my different grow beds, okay? It runs everything, including the fish tank here, okay? So um, I already had a, a hole currently cut there, so I wanted to run my drainage into that hole. Um, that way I'm putting less holes in my uh, sump tank. So that's what I did to make sure I'm connecting it to my sump tank. And that point right there, this pipe is actually tilted down a little bit. So that's actually the lowest point in my drainage pipe. So all the water from the buckets are going to drain that direction. Hey, what you doing down there, Siva? Huh? You chilling? So anyways, so as you can see, all my Dutch buckets, they would be set up like this. I have a test grommet in there. That grommet didn't work out. Um, but basically, it's all going to be set up like that. You're going to have uh, your, you know, your, uh, your pipe coming out of here and then a little uh, 90 coming into this drain, main drain pipe. This is a two inch pipe that I'm using and I have a cap here. And so basically, I already check the level and the level all the water basically drains down that way it doesn't have to be a huge drastic um, slant so it just needs to be slight because I'm having drip lines going into these not rushing water or anything like that so that's the way I did it this whole length of this board here is 12 inch or 12 inches 12 feet long so I had to um, I, I couldn't find a 2 inch pipe in 12 inch uh, feet um, footage or whatever so I basically got the um, 10 footers and then I just did a little slip fit down there which I'll show you right now but yeah cap it then you're gonna drill holes at each bucket and then as you can see here this is another uh, point where it need, needed to continue so I just got a little um, slip on both sides of this so slip that way slip that way push the pipe together and I didn't glue everything but I'm thinking I might, I just want to run the system and see if it drips. The cool, the cool part about aquaponics is you have stuff that floats around into the water. And so if the drip isn't crazy, what will end up happening is within a few days, um, that drip will actually start to close due to the fact that there's a little bit of solids floating around in the system. And then a little bit of algae does grow on the inside of the pipes, but it's very minimal but it usually seals up the, any kind of little tiny drip holes. Which takes us to this 90 that goes into the sump tank. Now, this 90 is, um, it's not so abrupt as a regular 90. This one's, um, I can't remember the exact name of it. If you guys can remember the name of this, uh, this 90, uh, post it in the comment section below, but I think it's like a, uh, what is it, like a slip 90 or something like that, or a, a, I can't remember the name of it. 
Um, if you can remember the name of this 90, post it in the comment section below. I basically had to get my, my piping in two different stores. I went to um, I went to Home Depot, of course, but then I also went to Lowe's. Home Depot's good. Don't get me wrong, I really like Home Depot, but Lowe's, they got all kinds of different fittings that I've never seen Home Depot carry. So uh, this is one of them. They don't carry those. They don't carry. And what that does is when the water drains this way, it doesn't hit that abrupt 90 and then kind of slow down. It just kind of just goes, you know, right into the sump tank. So, yeah. The drainage is pretty simple, um, but that's only part of the drainage. You know, this is, uh, this is just the main drain line, but all the buckets, that's a different story, and that's part of the drainage as well. So there might be a two-parter to the drainage uh, video, but that's what I got for today. So there is one more thing I wanted to bring up. So as you guys know, I have this going into my sump tank right there, which connects the whole system. It connects to the whole system. My zip road towers, my little grow beds over there that I built from scratch, also my bigger ones over there, my little water one over there where I grow aquatic plants. And so if I wanted to, I could make this into hydro easily, okay? If I wanted to switch out the hydro, um, hydraulics, hi, um, hydroponics, I could easily do that because I have this big area under here. I can easily put a half barrel under there, cut the top out, right? And then just run my uh, nutrient solution with a small pump into here and just kind of recirculate everything and have the drain go into that and have the water pump, you know, pump the water out in front here into the buckets. So I can actually switch or convert right over to uh, hydroponics. So. Um, I can also run this as a separate aquaponic system and I'm going to have media in all these. So since I'm having going to have media in all these, it's going to act like a filtration system as well. So I'll be able to run this whole thing separate from this. And as you can see, if I needed to move or whatever, I can break everything down real easy and I'm out. So. I'm really curious to see how this is going to go. Um, if it's growing, if plants grow anywhere near like the plants that are growing now, now that I have my water dialed in, uh, and I'm telling you, I really think I got the the water dialed in now. So now it's it's just it's it's just grow time. So, anyways, if you guys like this video, obviously give me a thumbs up, you know, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, give me some comments in the comment section below. Ideas, you guys. You guys always come up with really cool things to talk about in situations like this. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a lot of videos on these and my zip grow towers. I'm really loving these right now. So um, anyways, God bless you guys. And like always, peace.